Hello there. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. The laws of logarithms are really the key to any kind of problem we have to expand or simplify. And it turns out that the logarithm of a product, usually maybe it's written something like this, the log of a times b is equivalent to the log of a plus the log of b. And that's just tied to the laws of exponents. In other words, if we are adding our exponents, right, that's what this means right here, we're adding our exponents, that means we're multiplying the bases. So adding the exponents would be the same as just multiplying uh, a and b and taking the log of that because it's the same number. What am I talking about and how does it help us here? Well, we don't have a and b, but we have these three things and they're being multiplied. So we can take the natural log of x plus the natural log of y squared plus the natural log of z cubed and we have applied our first law of logarithms. But we can go further. There's another law that tells us that the, lo the log of, let's say, a to the c equals c times the log of a. And this one looks like the word clog. See that right there, clog? So we call it the clog law. Well, I call it that. And we have the natural log of x plus what? Bring these exponents in the front. 2 times the natural log of y plus 3 times the natural log of z. And we are finished. How do I know we're finished? There are no other basic laws to apply. All right, I hope that helped.